Welcome back to Trailer Trash Flips. It's about three o'clock Wednesday afternoon, and I've got 11 orders going out today for a total of $200.95. And I'm definitely pushing the wire here on getting these orders pulled, packed, and to the post office before they close. First item is in bin 03. And ooh, I thought I was out of these. I apparently have at least one more, so that's good. It's these boat transducer mounts, and this sold for $20 plus shipping. In the M2 bin, I sold a book, and it is the IMC International Mechanical Code, and this sold for $29.95 plus shipping. In the O10 bin, I sold a two pack of contractor invoice books, and these sold for a whopping $5 plus shipping. In the M1 bin, I sold an IPC plumbing code book for $30.95 plus shipping. I've got a few orders on the LP shelf. One is this realistic cassette tape organizer. And this sold for $12.95 plus shipping. All right, next I've got a platter. I'm gonna need two hands to grab that though. The crab platter sold for $29.95 plus shipping. And I'm also going to need two hands for the next item. And it's a vent system 6 inch wide duct connector that sold for $15.95 plus shipping. In the F3 bin, I sold two thermometers. And these sold for $13.90 plus shipping. In H13, I sold a book. And that's not it. Patterns of Power, and this sold for $26.95 plus shipping. It's Friday morning, a little after 10, and I think I sound like I probably just woke up, and I've actually been up for several hours, but I've got some sinus stuff going on. The weather, whenever the weather changes and goes from hot to cold to low humidity to high humidity, or a front comes in, it jacks up my sinuses. I've only got five orders going out today, for a total of $56.75. There's something very important that I need to talk about. And that is this stuff behind me. Yeah, those of you who have been those of you who have been shaming me about my messy, disorganized, and potentially dangerous shelf. Um, I went ahead and I rearranged it just to make everyone feel better about it. But it did need to be fixed anyway, so I did do that. There were some comments and concerns that it could fall on me and hit me in the head. And I guess a couple things could have failed. But I think it looks worse on the video than it does in person. I did reorganize this shelf and got things more nice and neat. I even found a couple things that were not listed that I need to get listed. And as far as the things behind here, there's kind of a big distance between where that is and where I sit. But yeah, this shelf is now taken care of. And the only other thing are some of these items, but they're on top of a shelf and they're not going anywhere. So thank you to those of you, and you know who you are, who are worried about my safety and well-being. I think the situation has been taken care of. I applied to be a whatnot seller. I was approved, which I don't know if anybody's not approved. So I don't feel all that special, but I did do the onboarding. So it's a done deal. So I'm ready to start selling on whatnot. As of right now, I don't think I have the right type of inventory to run two shows per week or anything of that frequency, at least not right now. But I am gathering some items out of my inventory, which I think will do okay there. And I will be having a whatnot show coming up before long. Being that it's the first show, I may not have anybody in there, but I will let you know in case anyone is interested in watching that. And I think it'll be interesting to see how that goes. I am working right now on getting the inventory that I want to run on the show, you know, pulled from my eBay inventory. And actually some things I think are not even listed. So I'm working on that right now and that'll be coming up before long. Earlier in the week, I was doing a job at a customer's home and it was a home that they had just bought and they were cleaning out the garage. At one point I went out to talk to her and I saw she was sweeping stuff up into a pile and I found this little Hot Wheels skate thing 
And I went over and I looked at it and I picked it up and she's like, do you want that? And I'm like, yeah, you're just going to throw it away. And she said, yeah. I'm like, well, yeah, I'll take it. And she also told me that there was a bag of some plush. And if I wanted that, I could have that too. So I did take those items. I haven't comped any of it yet. It's probably not going to be very good. I also found this Dan Marino McDonald's Looney Tunes cup. And I think it's from 1995. I didn't look any of this stuff up. It's probably not very valuable, but I figured I would take it and comp it and, and just see. First, I'll check this Hot Wheels skate thing, and, and then I'll show you the plush that I got, too. Of course, there are different variations of these. This one in particular, though, I found one that sold for $14.99 with free shipping, and another one sold with best offer from Canada, so I can't see how much that is. But either way, it's 100% profit on this. The first plush she gave me was this dinosaur head on a stick and it's a little bit dirty it may be able to be cleaned now if it's only worth a couple dollars i'm not gonna even bother with cleaning it there is a barcode on it so let me try to scan that with the with the ebay app and see if anything comes up no i didn't get anything so i'm going to google lens this a quick look and i only found one for sale at poshmark which was listed for twenty dollars so you know, it may be worth it for someone looking for this I'll put in a little bit of effort to try to clean it up, and if it cleans up pretty easily and quickly, I'll probably list it. If not, I'm, I don't think I'm going to keep it. The next thing out of the plush bag is this Paw Patrol frog. And hmm, I, I don't know anything about these. Let's see. It's a Build-A-Bear frog. Well, I got to tell you, I've got... I bought a couple Build-A-Bears probably about a year and a half ago. I bought either two or three Build-A-Bears and some Build-A-Bear clothes from a garage sale. I stole the clothes fairly quickly, and I have yet to sell one of the Build-A-Bears. So, I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can find this one real quick. I'm finding Build-A-Bear Kermit the Frogs, but this is definitely not Kermit the Frog. I'm not really finding anything, so maybe I hit a gold mine here with this this frog, or maybe it's just garbage, but I'm really having trouble comping this. And I went to not only eBay, but Google Lens also, and I didn't find any that looked like this. So if anybody out there knows what, you know, if this thing has much value to it or not, or if it's super rare, or even if it's not any good, let me know. And I was wondering, I don't know anything about Build-A-Bear. You know, my son went to Build-A-Bear one time in his lifetime, and he went with his mom. So I don't know anything about it. And I was wondering if this Paw Patrol shirt actually belonged on the bear, but it does. It has a Build-A-Bear tag on it. And, you know, he has the paw print and the, the Build-A-Bear tag. So anyway, I'm going to have to do further research on that. So if anybody knows anything about that, just, you know, let me know. All right, this was the next plush that was in the bag. Kind of a big big doll here the tag says best made toy so i don't know if that's anything valuable i highly doubt it but she's she's really nice size she's probably uh two and a half feet maybe i did a real quick comp on that didn't find anything again she's a little bit dirty i think what makes her cool is she's just kind of big so i'm gonna try to clean her up too and do a little more research and see if she has any value at all the last plush is this, it's a Pokemon plush that he's really not in the best shape. I can tell it looks like he's been repaired right through here, like re-sewn at this seam. He's very dirty. So I don't know if this is going to be able to be cleaned or even if it's even worth putting a whole lot of time into. It looks like the Build-A-Bear versions of this uh, Piplup are pretty good. This is not a Build-A-Bear version. And it looks like one, I think just like this one, sold for $3.50 at some point. So, yeah, I don't think this one is going to be too, too great. And the last thing that I want to look up is this Dan Marino Looney Tunes cup. I'm not expecting much out of it, but it was free, so... I do want to check that out and see if it has any value at all. 
I didn't find this exact cup with Dan Marino on it. I did find a couple with other players on it that range from two or three dollars up to about five fifty. And since they don't have any Dan Marino cups listed, maybe I can get a few dollars for that. But no matter how much I get, this is all 100% profit. One more question before I go pull my orders is, does anyone out there use or have any experience with AT&T 5G home internet air? About two weeks ago, I had to go to AT&T. I had a phone issue that I had to deal with. And, you know, if you go into an AT&T store, they try to sell you on a lot of different other services that they offer. Well, the one that did pique my interest was the 5G home internet. And I know that some competing carriers offer the same type of deal, but none of them are in my area. And since I'm already an AT&T customer, the 5G home internet is only $35 per month. And that's about a third of what I'm paying right now to my current provider, which I have Cox right now. And I've had Cox probably 18 or 19 years. And I don't have any issues with Cox. Well, I have issues with their cable because they're extremely high for what they offer. And I don't have that anyway, at least not anymore. But if I can get internet for a third of the price and it'd be just as good, well, I'm going to try that out. So that's why I'm asking if anyone out there has used this AT&T 5G home internet or not. I'm going to give it a trial run for a couple weeks and maybe just see if it's at least as good as what my Cox internet is. And if it is, I'll keep it. If not, I can send it back because there's no contracts or anything like that. And I guess the real funny thing about this is since I have had this almost two weeks and I have not hooked it up just because I've been really busy and I don't think about it. Corporate AT&T has called me four times. The local AT&T, the girl I dealt with at the AT&T store has called me once and sent me one text asking whether I hooked it up or not. And I don't know if I'm a guinea pig and they're really trying to get my experience or they're just that worried about my customer satisfaction. I kind of think it's the first one because when I signed up for it, she told me that she hadn't signed anybody else up for it yet. And I think she wants to use my experience to probably sell it. Maybe, maybe sell it to other people. But I am going to hook it up today because I keep telling her I'm going to get it done and I just haven't. So this is the box that they sent me. And it's just got like a little base, base thing in it. And looks like somebody's already had this one. It's pretty dirty. So I'm wondering if maybe somebody had this and they weren't happy with it and they decided to send it back. I mean, this isn't mine. This belongs to them. It's just a piece that I have to use. But it all, I'm really not all that worried about it because, like I said, I'm under no contract and I can just send it back and cut the Internet off at any point. I think where you live has a lot to do with how good a service you're going to get. So just because someone else had a bad experience with it doesn't necessarily mean that I will. But if anybody out there has tried this, let me know how it worked out for you. Now I'm going to go pull my orders. In the M5 bin, which is backwards right now, I sold this deep blue rub for $11.95 plus shipping. In the H11 bin, I sold a three pack of clip-on sunglasses. And these sold for $6.95 plus shipping. In the 09 bin, I sold a Lincoln gas nozzle. This sold for $6.95 plus shipping. In the F4 bin, I sold some Biotin supplements. And these sold for $6.95 plus shipping. And in H15, I sold two packs of graduated cylinders. It's actually two three packs. And these sold for $18 plus shipping. All the items going out today were bin store items. And all these were 50 cents and $1 purchases. And I believe I had bought the pack of graduated cylinders for $2. And I made them into three packs. And I sold one three pack already. So this is the rest of them. But really super low cost of goods into everything going out. So that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And consider subscribing to the channel. As always, I appreciate you watching. And I'll see you in the next video.